Let's go. I'll introduce. Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to Dynascape's Intermediate Tournament, also known as Dick. For short, we have a, another match for everyone today. It is going to be Ballers versus Aqua X Ruby Enjoyers. Uh, a Seed 16 team versus Seed 17. So I'm pretty sure this is one of our closest matches uh, by, I'm pretty sure the closest by match far. we're going to see. Yeah, by far, uh, as you can tell. I'm Era Sunny. Joining me in the booth is going to be none other than Epic Man 2. How's it going, Epic Man? Oh, yeah, life's going fine. This is uh, my first time uh, commentating for a match, so I'm hoping that I can uh, entertain everyone, like, well and everything. So, anyway, um, um, <laughs> um just trying to find the right words here. Um... Who wouldn't want to uh, crack a cold one and go enjoy the match as it happens? Yeah, and uh, I think we're getting into warm up, so definitely can crack a cold one and just wait for uh, these warm ups to conclude. We can also talk about yeah. the players as well, especially with how close these seedings are. I'm pretty sure Aqua X Ruby enjoys it's only just a two player team. 
So yeah. it's only so so you're only gonna see Mr. Adamello and Youth X for the entirety of this um, match. And only oh, okay, we got um, some. We have scroll. some reverse SBs. That's sick. I think we're hosting this on Quaver. This looks like some Quaver type stuff. Yeah, it actually does. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And I thought this was going to be like a flex lobby where like one of the teams have like learnt this map through. But it looks like everyone is actually having a bit of issues on this chart. Well, of course, with the reverse SV and uh, oh my goodness. Oh boy. Are those P inputs? Yeah, they are. I think They're... so. <laughs> this looks like <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess. And actually, we're seeing a really close score despite this insanely funny map. And oh my goodness, the lead just flickers at the very end. That is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you tried. Uh, <laughs> you tried. <laughs> you tried. I just. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't know that was there. Well, do you try thing? Yeah, you tried. I mean, I don't think most people would have uh, noticed it until, like, now, because I don't think it's, like, really shown that commonly throughout this skin that was uh, custom-made for this tournament, so, yeah. Yeah, shout-outs to Normal Plier for uh, making that skin and adding that cool little Easter egg. That's a flashback to, I believe, BSM Brawl. BSM I Brawl? Think. Yeah, that's a flashback to BSM Brawl. I just remember when I was, wonderful. like, in one of the BSM channels for the staff members, like, I don't know, a half a year ago, and we just started, like, oh, is it about this image? It was, like, really funny. So, I'm happy that it's, like, used in this skin. It's, like, too good. Nothing even comes close, to be honest. And as of now, we're going to uh, make our way to the next warm-up. Um, which is going to be Wood Fairies, mapped by Ballistic. It's uh, about two minutes long. I, I assume this is an LN map, as we yeah. see in the intro here. The rather simple coordination that is slow. Yeah, um, with, yeah, some players with... are tripping over, as it, as it seems. Yeah. Uh, pointy looking to just take their hands off the keyboard for a bit, maybe. Oh, and is that an abort? No. It might just be something on Pointy's side, but with the nature of Ballistic, uh, with normally their charting patterns, it's mainly some pretty awkward inverse uh, charts. You can always just um, revert or just like kind of connect this to the map pool, actually, with LN1 uh, being the release inverse pick that a lot of people, I believe, has given the ban hammer on uh, during the match. So kind of mm -hmm. having this as a warm up definitely can uh, show oh, your LN into, Yeah. I say like this is a rather like intellectual sort of decision for a warm up map. As it can like sort of lead, as it can sort of like dictate like what the player's abilities in LN are. Because uh, as we would have seen in the qualifiers, it would appear that um, it would appear that Bowlers has like a rather strong advantage when it comes to um, LN maps, specifically the difference in their seeding on well, Love It, which was LN one, matched by Ballistic as well. Concern a difference of um, practically fourteen like in inter intervals like between 
So relatively like a large sort of gap between the two teams, albeit for albeit for more fast-paced uh, sort of Ellen maps, which are sort of in, within the field of coordination, they're sort of like equal on it. So it would be interesting to see. They could probably like use the sort of stuff to their advantage if they want to like yeah. try and get a breakpoint. But then again, it can it can go like many ways. So yeah. Especially with Mr. Adamello pulling a 991k off of a map like this, which is relatively uh, correlated to LN1, this can definitely give some spite as to what the ballers maybe want to maybe avoid in this case. But then again, this is only a two-person team uh, for Aqua X Ruby and Joy, so they don't have much um, to work player-wise. But, um, I, I mean, with Adamello's insanely good at LN inverse abilities, it would just have to revolve around the second player to try to make that to make up for that team effort. So I think the ballers would just have an advantage when it comes to players, but Aqua X Ruby and Joyers definitely show that they will put up a fight, especially with how close um, these two teams are in seedings, only one digit apart. And we're getting straight into the roles. It looks like Aqua X Ruby and Joyers will be winning the role. So they will be getting that first pick and will be choosing if they want to ban or protect first. I have a feeling that like out of all the other maps, they will most likely protect a rice map, considering that like they are quite strong in this field. Um in con compared to uh how bowlers has done with the maps and the qualifiers. Relatively, their rice accuracy is uh, something that is not to be underestimated, considering that Aqua Ruby Enjoyers has gone seed 7 on Maisie Metroplex from the qualifiers, whereas, um, whereas Ballers has gone double that seed w with 16. So they, if they, w so they could probably like pull something off. However, in general, their sort of, their the, both of the teams are like rather sort of equal when it comes to each sort of skill set, S especially in both fields, depending on like different sort of categories. So it's definitely something to uh, watch out for, as this could potentially be a match that is well, that could close in at a tiebreaker. Yeah, for sure. And we have already seen a tiebreaker before. I believe the first match ever recorded or ever streamed in dick history I actually went to a tiebreaker uh yeah, and it definitely could happen again here especially with how close these evenings are yeah it'll be and really interesting like, this sorry you're saying like you mentioned uh with ballers being decent at ln they're actually gonna keep um the ballistic chart ln1 up on uh, and make and actually protect it Hmm. I see. But overall, um, I think it would be really interesting if this match went to a tiebreaker. Because, oh, and it seems that, uh, it, it seems that we're moving on to bans now, and Aqua Ruby and Joys are going to be banning LM2, which is the shortest map of the whole pool, only clocking at about 1 minute and 10 seconds approximately. So it's quite yeah, interesting. interesting. Yeah, probably with the sheer density of that chart of uh, Longo 2, even despite it's short, I believe, just a minute, 10 seconds, um, definitely probably not comfortable at all, especially for only having two players, definitely not having that variety. So maybe just not wanting to risk it with Ballers having one extra player. And we're going to see a Rice 5 ban from Ballers. So we're going to see Breathe um get the hammer for this one which could definitely make sense breathe is pretty uncomfortable to play and and it would definitely make sense for them to knock that off to uh, kind of just stick to that more less dense more accuracy based side of the rice pool especially with that missing week and love lab uh but you definitely have to take into consideration that baboon did get protected i believe that was aqua x ruby enjoyers protect so they can definitely probably 
be more self-centered around that rice range while ballers is probably going to focus more on that bottom half of the pool and an aqua x ruby enjoyers instantly going to go for their protect they're going to go for baboon guns firing for baboon yep this is going to be quite interesting because uh we have seen that in the qualifiers that their scores on Fuel Blood, which was rice, was, which was the Rice Free Qualifier stage, aka the late game sort of technical map, they they have they both have like relatively close seeding placements on it. So therefore, it would be really interesting to see how they both play out on the Rice technical picks because I believe that like it could be a potentially close match, especially with uh, Baboon, and it's relatively. Over panning, where it yeah. would, where where it requires you to like have really good accuracy to be able to like be able to put up a fight on it. So it would especially, be really interesting to see. Yeah, especially with some of like the bursty technical patterns that are sprinkled within Baboon, it's definitely kind of just having a little caution sign um, up in front of the chart, just trying to you know. Stay weary of those, and that could definitely be the, the nail in the coffin for uh, one of these teams if they ever manage to find a slip up on those technical patterns, especially with the broken jump stream overall. And I think uh, these both of these teams are capable of um, watching out for those warnings, but it's just more or less who's going to drop less 200s and who's going to keep that ratio of, up in up in advantage and it looks like as of now it's practically tied with both sides flickering back and forth here and there aqua x ruby enjoys having the slightest of lead and uh with every note that passes by it switches to the baller side for about a millisecond yeah for sure the scores uh, appear to be flickering back and forth um each pattern like they each each both teams are having like relatively good accuracy with both the patterns. The the score gap is like really small, less than a thousand, which is quite impressive. And it only just lead it only just what makes us wonder like who could potentially like take the cake for the first pick, who could achieve the first breakpoint as we make it to the halfway point of the map as, of, as we make it to the halfway point of the map. Yeah, as it looks like, um, I'm gonna butcher this thing, but guy, uh, guy to, oh wait, guy to, to new, <laughs> I butchered that horribly, uh, matching up accuracies with Mr. Adamel. You know what, I'm just gonna call them uh, new just for the sake of, you know, me not having to misprint or just absolutely mistake their name for the next uh, couple minutes of, or for like the next half hour of this vlog. But uh, matching accuracies with Mr. Adamello while Youth X and Poity are um, trying to equal each other out. Poity having the accuracy advantage both sides of ballers on that 99.6 range. While Youth X is behind by just a bit, roughly by three tenths of a percent to Poity. Uh, Mr. Adamello is keeping them in the game with 99.7, almost up to that 99.8, the highest accuracy in the lobby. As we're starting to close up this map now, things are definitely starting to get more gracie and technical. And the stream just died. Damn. Wow. Oh, we're okay. We're back. Oh, I see if we're back. Oh, Mr. Adam Mello finding a drop, I think. Oh, yeah, that was oh, a, yeah. That was an actual drop, but that was right at the end of the chart. And even with the ballers having that accuracy lead over, Mr. Adam Mello's miss won't be putting any good to that. As the laser client says goodbye, but we have received our first break point. And that was a very early break point off the sides of Ballers. Poirty and Noob both FCing. And Noob with the 993k, the only 990 in this lobby. Pretty sure if Adamella were not to find that miss, um, they would also be in that 990 range. 
everyone else FCing besides them, but that is okay. Uh, but in early, I believe, if, I believe if it wasn't for that point uh, or for that miss, it would still be in Baller's favor. But for now, that is an early break point for the side of Baller's. Yep. And as it stands now, we are going to move on to the next pick, which is going to be Ellen one So I believe that this is a Bowler's Protect, as we have seen earlier in the match. So, and as we would have seen from the warm-ups of this round, of this round specifically, um, we would notice that, oh, that, I believe it was Oka Ruby and Neuer's is, uh, warm-up map, the Wood Fairies map. So, I believe that judging from the performance alone with our boy team, like, so it could go in like various directions as well, considering that so uh, I feel like Poitsy's keyboard like disconnected like during that match. Um, it looks like we're gonna see Ellen one get the pick so thankfully I didn't miss out on much hmm? yeah thankfully I didn't I didn't miss out on much I would assume we're getting into the next pick which is going to be LN1 on the side of ballers and I think our ref is gone where did Kiraz go oh boy I think Kiraz has been thunderstruck <laughs> Kira's husband, ACDC Thunderstruck official video. No way. But yeah, a early break point for the side of Ballers. Definitely going to look to capitalize off that with LN1. But we did see uh, uh, during warm up side, Adam Mello has really strong LN capabilities. So it could yeah. definitely, it could definitely be a toss up, especially, um, I actually haven't seen, I'm pretty sure Ballers lost their LN player, if I'm correct, or wait, no, I'm pretty sure you were talking about someone's keyboard when I returned, and I think that was one of the main oh, LN yeah, players. Oh yeah, it was, uh, Poity. It was Poity. Yeah, Poity. Of Ballers. Of Ballers. But either way, um, I believe that this pick could go in various directions, as it could, like, fall in favor of all the Ruby Enjoyers, who, again, um, um... I do believe that, um, in this match, like, with this pick specifically, it could probably fall in favor of Ballers, considering their performance on Love It, which was basically made by the same mapper as we would have mentioned earlier in the stream. And I believe that it would get that it it's going to be like a rubber close match for both teams, considering that um, because just looking at their performance from the warm ups, and it seems that we are going to be starting now. Yeah, hopefully no keyboard issues. Yeah, hopefully no keyboard issues happen with um, this on anyone's side, actually. And here we go, Andre, with Long Note 1. So hopefully, and we're already seeing some pretty nasty uh, judgments from Youth X, dropping onto that 97 mark. But that won't be doing much as we are early into this map. Roughly 5,000 points of difference. As 49.8 for highest accuracy go coming out of this um, beginning. As Adamello is trying their hardest to match with them. Noob is at that 99.3. Ufax trying to climb up from the, their nasty accuracy drop from the beginning. Uh, but finding some 200s, 6,000 point lead for ballers out of this first quarter all, already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. 
Oh, and it seems that Poiti has taken a drop, so and and Gahiti to noob as well. So it's going. So the lead is going to be swinging forth to Aqua Ruby Enjoyers, as they are now holding on to the lead. Um, Ufex's accuracy is climbing back up from when it was ninety-seven percent earlier. Um, Poiti still having, still maintaining like the Ooh. strongest accuracy in the match so far with ninety-nine point eight three percent. Adam Mello coming at a close second, but now but now dropping to 99.70%. Already, it yeah. looks really overall, it look it already looks quite dangerous for bowlers as as a, as the as Aqua Ruby enjoys is now in a 16,000 point lead. And we're like into the lost four. And it seems that UFX is gonna be taking it up or drop. Um oh, another one from UFX! Hold on a yeah. second. And the lead swings back to bowlers now. Now have now being ten, nearly ten thousand points ahead, and Gahiti to new they tr trades misses with Ufex. Now only seventeen points, seventeen thousand points in lead. Pointy yeah, dropping as new... well. Oh, the, oh, oh, the, oh, 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 okay, oh my god! That was, that was a client. Oh, and. And it looks like Ballers and is going to be taking this point from Ellen One, which was their protect. It was a rather like dangerous clutch for both teams, considering how, considering how, given how far the scores were flickering between each other. As in contrary to earlier, it wasn't flickering like really closely it was there wasn't like only less than a thousand points of difference so we so there was many ties to be turned over here so yeah a very surprising uh capitalize off of that breakpoint ballers now up to zero probably going uh but it is aquax ruby enjoyer so they could definitely pick out another rice map, maybe something like Love Lab or uh, I'm Made of Wax. And it seems that the next pick from Ooh, is going to be Hyper 2. So that is Be With You, mapped by CRISPR, specifically the Insane difficulty. I remember this map, like, when it was ranked, like, a few years ago, uh, when it was, like, first qualified. So it's surprising to see that, like, it is in this map pool as well. So as a, being the I... uh, hybrid map that it is, I believe it's a LN by sort of hybrid. I believe that it could fall in favor for either team, as we're going to be starting right now, in this very moment. So, so practically, um, I believe that this could go in like many different ways. It's, I believe now it, it is up to all Caribbean enjoyers to be able to be able to like try and snatch some points like right here if they want to be able to like stay in and, and avoid like and and avoid like the tiebreaker on, which means that they would have to like do a reverse sweep like right now and as we wait for the client to catch up with ufx's score it seems that they are about five thousand points in difference to bowlers in bowlers advantage um, everyone yeah. maintaining relatively good accuracy. Um, Ufex uh, falling a bit behind on the stream parts as we make it to some, as we start, as there is some shields that are introduced and some other Ellen patterns. Um, it seems that now the lead is about 10,000 points ahead to bowlers. So. It's still relatively early in the map, so therefore there is like a lot that can happen in just a matter of time. So we'll just have to wait and see as we make it through this jump stream segment with some trills. Now reaching like a more technical part. Here we go into what looks to be more rice based section when it comes to this hybrid. 
Uh, we're just gonna see some jump streams and some broken and jumps and a miss from Poi. But wait a second, this lead doesn't look to be going anywhere. That was a relatively clean jump from Poi. It is closing in, but it looks like those 200s from Ufax is going to trade in that miss pretty much. And it's now 7,000 points of difference on the side of Balthers. Oh. As we are into the bridge, almost into the last course of this map, only a third left to go. We got to see another miss on the side of Ballers. If even Aqua X Ruby enjoys. And what's well, happening? I said that. No, he too, too. Boy, this is new. All right, Bullers. All right, everyone in Bullers is missing again once more. Um, the the top, the, the score difference is closing in, and it's slowly going oh to Aqua Ruby and Joyers. It's it's now flickering back and forth. As we make it into the course, the map is now closing in. Um, anything can happen right here. Um, into the second key eye, things are flickering, yeah. and yep. but that lead is remaining on the side of Ballers, even with Pointy's very, very shaky misses at that ending point. They managed to clutch it in the end. I think it might have been Youth X's 200s, but even with that. Uh, ballers will be taking a break one, and that's very crucial as well. That Mr. Will Adam Mello to... has maintaining the best ratio in this play, so it would have been really dangerous for bowlers if Ufex had gone a similar score as well. So now, um, it would appear that Okaruby and Joris has to make sure, has to be able to climb up like be able to like get some points from the next three maps otherwise they're going to be able to like engage in a tiebreaker yeah i believe and now that the and i believe now it's going to be bowlers picking the next map which is most likely either going to be their final pick for this round or 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 it will be of Ruby enjoys his first point of the whole match, so something to look forward to, I'd say. Yeah, looking to... Uh, looking to... Uh, looking to get this sweep uh, right now. They're gonna go for Rice Force, they're gonna go for that missing weak. A rather interesting pick from Boulders, as it is quite similar to Baboon in some ways. So, most likely, it, they are going... So, most likely, they could probably um, be able to win this, considering the performance from... Uh, that... Considering the performance from Rice Free earlier. All we have to do, really, is wait and see to see what will happen, as this can go in many ways. It is mostly. This could potentially be Boulders' last pick of this round to be able to advance straight into round 16 with a clean victory. Yeah, looking to. Looking to move on into that round of 16 winner's bracket. Uh, definitely. Definitely is going to be a little bit of a. Uh, looking to be more real as we pro progress further through this match. But it is still anyone's game. We could see a reverse sweep from the side of Aqua X Ruby Enjoyers. And it seems that we get. Oh no, that was a client miss. So now the scores are now. So now the overall score is going to be swinging towards uh, in favor of Aqua Ruby Enjoyers. And before switching back to Bowlers, there is now like only a matter of a few thousand points of difference. Um. Yeah, and as we get into this first third of the map. Uh, things are looking to be on the side of Ballers, but there is a 200 from Pointy. That lead is going to close in ever so slightly. 
Mr. Adamello being at 99.8, definitely keeping Aqua X Ruby Doyers in that lead range. You X at a 99.3, not the greatest accuracy to be at, but still holding on to that full combo. Everyone holding on to the FCs. It's just Ufx trailing a bit behind on their um, on their accuracy. But only a quarter of the map left to go. Ballers having the accuracy advantage. Poity and uh, Noob both holding on quite well. 2,000 points of difference going into this final part of the map here. And it looks like Ballers, if nothing happens, they will be taking this victory as we only have these closing notes. And as it stands, just, it, it seems that Bowlers has won this match with a clean score of 4 0. Yeah, the Bowlers will be taking this victory or nothing. And I have to switch matches. Get ready. Uh, wait, what match ID am I streaming? We're not live. <laughs> Match uh, 16, right? Match 16, uh... Roblox Addicts versus Nefta Culture is what I'm doing? Okay. Yeah, the next one we're doing is a uh, Roblox Addicts versus Beast Nefka Culture. Um, the match should be ongoing right now, right? Yeah, I was told... Yeah. I, I was told they're in warm-ups. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. Okay. I feel like I stutter a bit too much in here, so. Um. 